The Senate has confirmed the appointment of all seven ministerial nominees of President Bola Tinubu that he submitted to the upper chamber last week for accelerated consideration. This follows the screening of the nominees by the upper chamber on Wednesday after it was postponed on Tuesday. The Senate suspended its rule to admit the ministerial nominees. The lawmakers began with Nentawe Yelwada, the nominee appointed to replace Betaidu as the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Reduction. They subsequently screened other appointees, including Bianca Odumegu Ojuku, nominated as the Minister of State Foreign Affairs, Megari Denyagi, nominated as the Minister of Labor and Employment, Jumoke Oduole, nominated as the Minister of Industry. I would like to say that my past records speak for me. As ambassador to the Kingdom of Spain, I spent an entire year in one hotel room because when I got to Spain, the mission building was in such an appalling condition. Together with very dedicated officers, we conducted the massive renovation works, not just on the mission building itself, giving Nigeria an edifice truly deserving of a nation of its standing. Also screened were Idi Meha as Minister for the newly created Livestock Development Ministry, Yusuf Attar as the Minister of State Housing and Urban Development, and Shuaiba Ahmed as Minister of State Education. All the nominees were asked questions on how to run their various designated ministries effectively, which they answered to the satisfaction of the senator who subsequently, or senators rather, who subsequently confirmed their appointments. First, while I adopt all the sentiments that have been um, said earlier by the Anambra senators and the one from Enugu State, I will say that one, maybe because of her, Mr. President, by bringing an APGA person to be a minister, has already started with what we call a unity government and uh, looking for national integration. We can only ask that Mr. President goes much further, much, much further, but we commend him for this. Second, another commendation we will make for the President, which most people have also forgotten, we have on the floor of this Senate always sought that a president sending nominees to the floor must attach it with the portfolio. Today, we are seeing that the president has started by letting us know in the portfolios of those that will go to the different areas. And that is commendable. And so I think that this, having been started, should be sustained by all presidents that will come and the president in his further changes, because I know that there are going to be more changes. Listen to her, nobody can fault her qualification to serve this country in any capacity. Um, she's very intelligent very, very charismatic and very beautiful. For her to step into this chamber to be confirmed, screened and confirmed as a minister of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is indicative of the fact that we are trying to put the past behind us in this country. But what I'm saying is that with her joining the federal cabinet, Mr. President, we are looking forward to opening more doors to reconciliation and many other things to come. We congratulate all the nominees for this uh, elevation by Almighty God, courtesy of our uh, president, President Bola Ahmed Chinibu, 
and also pray that God will give them the enablement to continue to put in their best for the upliftment of the citizenry and the benefit of this great country. Congratulations also to my colleagues, the senior senators who have spent the better part of the day from morning till now to do this all important national assignment. I congratulate all of you and I pray that Almighty God will reward each and every one of you with good health and wisdom to continue to serve our great nation. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.